Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Lane. Today I'm doing a realistic rebuild of the Cincinnati Bengals. They got Joe Burrow. We gave him superstar development. They also got T Higgins in the second round who are giving star development. I think he's going to be a great receiver for Joe Burrow. I feel like they might trade away AJ Green, but it might be at the midseason mark. So we're just going to keep him for the year. We have to work on the offensive line. And then there is some holes on defense, like in the linebackers I want to work on, the strong safety, some corners. But I mean, the defensive line, pretty good, I would say. But let's go to the playoffs and see how it goes. We made the playoffs in year one at nine and seven. Wow. We're playing against the 10 and six Browns, so we'll probably lose. But actually, we beat them in week 17. Look at the top left, 28 to 10. So there is a chance. The Ravens went 8, 7, and 1. The Steelers went 8, 7, and 1. Joe Burrow, 3,800 yards, just about 35 touchdowns, eight interceptions. I love the touchdown to interception ratio. That's awesome. Rushing Joe Mixon, about 1,300 yards, seven touchdowns. I love him as a player. Receiving AJ Green, 936, four touchdowns. No idea how to say this guy's last name. CJ, 809, 10 touchdowns. Higgins is a rookie, 771, five touchdowns. Boyd with nine touchdowns. On defense, Logan Wilson, 125 tackles. Pratt, 105. Sack total, 7.5 for Dunlap, 5.5 for Pratt, 5.5 for Lawson. Interceptions, 4 for Alexander, 2 for Pratt, Jackson, Waynes, and Bell. And then 2-1. Now, I did remember to take Andrew Luck out, so we're not going to have to deal with that. But Watson with the MVP. No Bengals. Coach of the year, Andy Reid. But we should be uh, right there. Zach Taylor, number 7. I was going to say, we have to be up there. Offensive player. Burrow should be up here, but he's not for some reason. Defensive player of the year. Probably no Bengals. Nope. Darius London, number 10. Offensive rookie, Burrow at three. T. Higgins is not up here. Defensive rookie of the year, Kenneth Murray. We have Luke, or Logan Wilson, rather, in number six. And that's going to be it. Now, let's see what we have for XP. Six for Joe Burrow. I love that. Higgins with three. Not much in the offensive line. Jonah Williams has three. I suppose that's good. And on defense, three for Wilson, two for Evans. Two for William Jackson, two for Bates, but not much. Can we beat the Browns? I mean, Madden loves the Browns, so I really don't think so. But then we, okay, we beat them 17. We beat them again. Now, beating the 13-3 and three Chiefs, that'll be a tough one. I don't know how we're going to get that done, but we do somehow. And we're playing against the 11-5 Raiders to make the Super Bowl. How are the Raiders here? That's my question. So it's Raiders Seahawks. We ended up losing. That is so, so disappointing. Let's see. The Seahawks beat the Raiders 31 to 24. How badly did we get beat? I have a feeling it's going to be like a seven point game. Oh, no. We lost by two touchdowns. That's not good. Derek Carr, 281, four touchdowns. Burrow, 232 interceptions. What happened? Rushing Mixon, 128 with a touchdown. Anderson way down here with a touchdown. Receiving Aguilar, 4 for 108 with three touchdowns. Yeah, right. Higgins, 82 yards. Williams, 75. Where's Ruggs? 5 for 26 with a touchdown. All right. Now for free agents, I'm going to let A.J. Green walk. Hardy Nickerson I should bring back, but other than that, I'm good to go. We have so much money. Let's just give him a four-year deal. He'll be done at 30 years old. Also, we skip free agency year one just because it's going to be all the people who are free agents in real life this past year. So no real point in doing that. But we have the 29th overall draft choice. And we have to work in the offensive line. Either an offensive lineman or a corner, in my opinion, is what we need. So let's see what the options are. We could get a running back. I'd be so excited to do that. I don't love that corner. Not getting a quarterback. I mean, these corners might not be half bad, but I don't think that's really the answer. Yep, there's our right tackle. He's a 76 overall normal development, 90 strength, 82 run block, 77 pass block. Let's get center Matt Hyde in the second round. He's a 67 overall, not worth it, 78 strength, 76 run block, 68 pass block. Heading into the year, we're an 81 overall team, 80 offense, 84 defense. We still have to work in the offensive line big time. But I love the weapons. I love the quarterback. And nothing changed on defense. So we are good. Actually, Pratt went up to star development. That's good. But nothing else changed. Let's go to the midseason mark. At the midseason mark, we're in second place at 4-4 four and four behind the Steelers, who are 4-3. and three. Ravens and Browns, 3-4. and four. Now, Joe Mixon's going to be a free agent. But who else? William Jackson's going to come back. Lawson, I want to bring him back. John Ross, maybe. Really not that much. And we should have a ton of money. 
Oh, yeah. We made the playoffs and got a first round bye. Madden is very hopeful for the Bengals. I don't get this. We went 10 and 6. Browns 9 and 7. The Steelers 8 and 8. And the Ravens 6 and 10. Burrow, 3,400 yards, 27 touchdowns, 7 interceptions. How do we do better? But he had a drop off. Okay. Okay. Mixon, 1,400 yards, 11 touchdowns. Bernard with seven. Receiving, Tyler Boyd, 893, eight touchdowns. Ross, 639 with eight. CJ, four touchdowns. Higgins, 525 with three. On defense, Logan Wilson, 108 tackles. Pratt, 101. Sack totals, 11 and a half for Dunlap, eight for Lawson, six and a half for Pratt. Interceptions, two for Waynes, two for Wilson, and a few ones. Now, I mean, I don't think we're going to have anything up here. MVP, Patrick Mahomes. No, Bengals. Actually, Coach of the Air will be up here. There we are at number five. Offensive Player of the Year. Maybe Mixon. Maybe not Mixon. Defensive Player of the Year. Do we even play in the NFL at this point? Offensive Rookie. Nothing. Defensive Rookie. Nothing. I find that so hard to believe that we have nothing other than head coach, right? Joe Murph. Let's see what we have for XP. I find that so hard to believe, by the way, that there's nothing up there. Burrow has three. It'll be an 89 overall. Higgins will be an 81 overall. Jonah Williams with two. Copeland with three. will get him up to a 79. So we're looking good at the tackles. We still need guards. We still need a center. Then on defense, Wilson has two. Pratt has two. Bates with two. There's really not much here, but the, like, the defensive line looks good. But Atkins must be 32. Yeah, 32 years old. What about Dunlap? He's 31. So they're getting up there in age. Reader will be fine. Lawson will be fine. I don't know. I feel like there's a lot of work to do on defense when it really doesn't look like. Can we beat the 10 and 6 Miami Dolphins? Make it to the AFC Championship game. We lost to the Dolphins 31 to 21. How? I feel like the Bengals have a better roster, no? I guess it's kind of a toss up. I personally would probably take two if he wasn't injury prone over Joe Burrow. But two at 225, three touchdowns. Burrow, 196, three touchdowns, one interception. Mix at 91 yards, touchdown for Jordan Howard. Gasicki, 75 with a touchdown. Wilson, 67 with a touchdown. Boyd, two touchdowns. John Ross with a touchdown. Higgins, one for 19. Disappearing act. The Bears took down the Dolphins, 28 to 14. If we see that next year... In the 2021 season, I will be so, so surprised. There's almost no way. Jordan Evans, I feel like we should still keep him on our team. Let's go four. Let's go five. 1.85. 27.2. That's good. Two free agency. $33.16 million. I hope there's some sort of offensive lineman here. Aaron Jones, we don't need. A wooze. Ooh, that seems good. He's a scheme fit. We need another corner. Superstar development. I'm going to go up to $11 million. 5.65. A little much. And we're going to be out the Patriots, though. Will Fuller's there. We don't really need that all too much. I mean, we could bring in Sidney Jones, but I don't really think we need to. Dejoku, no. So I guess we're fine otherwise, no? Because we'll be fine at corner if we can get a Wuze. Kind of need another middle linebacker, but not really. I really need offensive line help. That's the problem. And I know you guys hate when I draft offensive linemen so much, but do we really have an option? I don't think so. Good, good, good. We got a Wuze. So we have the 25th overall pick. I don't know why they keep scouting quarterbacks for us, but we'll just ignore that. Oh, that corner doesn't look all too bad. We still need an outside linebacker, so let's keep Gilbert in mind. Right guard, late first, ooh. I don't know, let's add this right tackle, let's add this right end, even though we don't really need him. That right guard looks pretty good as well. All right, how badly do we need an outside linebacker? We have Pratt, Logan Wilson, middle linebacker, I forget who our other one is. Evans at a 76 overall, Pratt has superstar development. All right, seems pretty good. And mix it up to Superstar X Factor. So I suppose the offensive line. Uh, we're, I mean, we're going to have to take the offensive lineman. We're going to have to. But which one? Barnett's an early first. First of the bench press. Welcome to the squad. 76 overall. Normal development. 
91 strength, 83 run block, 76 pass block. We're going to take this left tackle, put him over to guard, Mike Maynard. He's a 70 overall, normal development, not even, might not even be good enough. 87 strength, 72 run block, 71 pass block. Heading into the year, we're an 84 overall team, 83 offense, 87 defense. We still have a lot of work to do in the offensive line. I feel like I'm going to say that every single year, but with no free agents, not really a, lot, a ton of great draft picks because we're drafted so late. I mean, not much I can really do, but we did get better on defense with a Wooze, Pratt's up the superstar development. Let's go to the midseason mark. At the midseason mark, we're in third place at 3-5. and five. The Browns are undefeated at 7-0. and oh. So we're probably not going to make the playoffs realistically. How old is DJ Reader? 27 years old, so he's coming back. Dunlap can leave. Bates is coming back. Hubbard's coming back. Bell's coming back. Alexander, Tate, CJ, probably. Thompson, probably. Really don't know what we have for cash, though. Oh, 80 million. We didn't make the playoffs as I expected. Let's see. We went 4-12. and 12. Didn't think we were going to do that bad. Browns 13-2-1. Ravens 9-6-1. And the Steelers 6-10. Burrow 3,800 yards. 23 touchdowns. 13 interceptions. What happened? Rushing mix in about 1,400 yards. 13 touchdowns. Boyd 9-24. 4 touchdowns. Ross 8-30 with 5. Higgins 8-24. 7 touchdowns. CJ with 3. On defense, Wilson 122 tackles, Pratt 103. Sack totals 10 and a half for Lawson, 7 for Dunlap, 4 for Atkins, 4 for Hubbard. Interceptions, 2 for Wuze, and a lot of 1. Yearly awards, Josh Allen with the MVP, Elliott 2, 2 at number 3. No Bengals, Coach of the Year, Freddie Kitchens, AFC Offensive Player of the Year. Nothing Defensive Player of the Year, nothing. Offensive Rookie, probably nothing in Defensive Rookie of the Year. What do you know? Nothing yet again, but we might have the first overall draft pick, which, as you know, I'll probably trade that back if there's a good trade offer. I like to get value for my first overall pick. One for Joe Burrow is atrocious. Three for Barnett gets him to a 78. Copeland will be a 79. Michael Jordan will be a 75. It's not that bad, I suppose. And then on defense, I mean, nothing. There's ones. Come on. The Packers beat the Browns 20-17. to I imagine that's still Aaron Rodgers in this game. It could be Jordan Love, though. I would like to bring back Bobby Hart. Eh, if he'll take two years, 3.8. If not, he, okay, he'll come back. That's good, then. We have $33 million in cap space. We really need offensive linemen. Mitchell Schwartz. I would like that, but we don't need a tackle. Don't need Gallup. Don't need Hyde. Jason Kelsey, now that's something I would love to have on our team. Just for one year, we can increase the price. Won't be the end of the world. So 112, a little much, I'll give you that. Sherman, on the other hand, bringing a superstar X-Factor guy. This is what I might rescind, but I just want to make the offer first. Nwosu's there, not a scheme fit. Reed, we don't need. Connor Williams, on the other hand, I feel like I bring him in all the time, so I am sorry about that. Really, I have to lower it. I don't know if that's even going to be enough. Oh, no, it is. 74 total points. That should be the trick or do the trick. We got Kelsey. We got Sherman. We didn't get. Ah, oh, why didn't we get him yet? Come on. Rejected Connor Williams. I guess I should have pulled back on Sherman, offered him more money. I don't know. He had 74 total points. That's not bad. We do have the first overall draft choice. Let's see the options just in case. We could trade back till 10 and then get another pick next year. I want to see. I mean, there would have to be some offensive lineman that's going to blow me away. And it's not really looking like that. We don't like we could use an outside linebacker. Don't get me wrong. We don't really need a middle linebacker. There is a guard early first, but I don't know if a, like a, a guard's not a first overall pick. There's so many guards up here, so we could trade back with the Redskins. I assume one of those guards will be there. And we get a second round pick this year. So that's pretty good. I want to see who they needed so badly. A right end, 73 overall. Your ends are loaded. On, I, I don't get that. They have Chase Young, Matt Ioannidis, Payne. Um, oh, there's one more. Uh, what is his name? Jonathan Allen. That's who I'm looking for. And they take another defensive lineman. Doesn't really make sense. So do we want Sammy Fisher, who's first in the bench press? Let's add him to the draft board. Or do we want... 
Lawrence Hayward, who's a scheme fit. There's so many great players, but I think guard has to be the move here. What are you? Early first, second, A minus. Mm. I, I like the scheme fit. I'm going to go with Hayward. He's a 78 overall, normal development, ranked number one, but normal development somehow. 87 strength, 80 run block, 77 pass block. A bunch of running backs, hard pass. Right end, we don't need any ends. We do need an outside linebacker. Late second, we can wait on that one. Take a tackle, put him over at guard, Kate Austin. 75 overall normal development. I don't understand it. 91 strength, 74 run block, 78 pass block. Did somebody complain to EA that all the offensive linemen were having hidden developments? Like, did that happen? Because I feel like we are top 10 pick, hidden development every single time. That should be programmed in the game. No exceptions. Um, I'm not really seeing anything. I mean, maybe Kirby's good late first, but I think we're fine at corner. We got Jason Kelsey. Is this tight end any good? Mid third, so probably not. I don't see anything. Late second. I guess we'll go with one of the outside linebackers. Let's go with Lee Clay or yeah, Claiborne, right? 69 overall normal development. 79 tackles, 75 hit power, 79 speed, 81 acceleration. Heading into the year, we have an 86 overall team, 87 offense, 85 defense. The offensive line is finally fixed. We have great receivers, great running back, great quarterback. And on defense, we have great corners, great defensive line. Do have to work on the linebackers, though. Let's go to the midseason mark. At the midseason mark, we're in second place at 5-2 and two behind the Browns, who are 7-1. and one. Ravens and the Steelers, 2-5. and five. Not very good, Ravens and Steelers. Now, I imagine this is all the people they just drafted. There's Pratt. There's Wilson, Jonah Williams, Michael Jordan. All right, so we actually should have a ton of money, too, because we don't have to pay. Yeah, we don't have to pay Joe Burrow yet. Now, we didn't make the playoffs, but the Browns were doing pretty well. Yeah, they went 11-5, but we went 9-7. and seven. Not bad. Ravens 8-8, eight eight, the Steelers 7-9. How did the Redskins do? We do have their pick. They went 8-7-1, so a mid-round pick. That's all right, because we still got our offensive linemen. We're good to go. Burrow, 3,800 yards, 38 touchdowns, 11 interceptions. Awesome. Rushing, mix it about 1,500 yards, 9 touchdowns. Boyd, 9-10, 8 touchdowns. Ross, 794 with 10. CJ, 755, 6 touchdowns. Higgins, 644 with 7. On defense, Wilson, 108 tackles. Sack totals, 19.5 for Hubbard, 14 for Lawson, 4 for Pratt, 3.5 for Wren. Interceptions, 4 for Bell, 1 for Sherman, 1 for Jackson, 1 for Bates. Now, let's take a look at the yearly awards. Lamar Jackson, the MVP. Burrow could be up here, but of course he's not. Coach of the year, we could be up here, but we're not again. How does the Texans at 871 beat us out? I never understand that. Bengals, hey, Joe Burrow at number 10. Defensive player of the year, we have Hubbard at four. I think that's our first defensive player up there. Offensive rookie, Reeves at seven. Defensive rookie, hey, Horton at number 10. Now, what do we have for XP on the offensive line? Barnett has two, he'll be an 81. Hayward has three, he'll be an 81. So other than Kelsey we're about to lose, we are good to go. Nothing really else on offense. On defense, two for Hubbard, one for Lawson. Two for Pratt, I guess. The Chiefs beat the Packers 35-28. to The Packers almost had back-to-back -back Super Bowl championships. Now, what do we have for cash? Not much. Not much at all. I think I'm just going to make a play at Jason Kelsey. Bring him back. Go to the draft. I might franchise tag Richard Sherman. Not going to lie. Let's have him turn this down. And you can come back for one more year, right? The 19th overall draft choice. And I don't really know what we need. Obviously, defensive help. I know that. But like an outside linebacker, a middle linebacker, a defensive tackle, I suppose. I mean, we really don't even need a middle linebacker. Wilson's what? I think that's at 83 overall. So we have back-to-back -back picks, by the way. So this will be somewhat easy to do, I would assume. We could get a quarterback. There is nothing. Absolutely nothing. We could have took a center and called well, but we're not going to do that now. I mean, this left end speed rusher mid first seems pretty good. 
Hopkins seems pretty good, but that's a mid-second, so... I don't think that'd be a smart idea. There's really nothing here. Maybe you guys would, like, take one of these guys, but... They don't seem very good. I have to take that end, because he seems like the best player here. Then I might go with that defensive tackle and reach big time. Ashmore, welcome to the team. 71 overall normal development. 59 power moves, 79 finesse, 83 speed, 84 acceleration. I really, really, really don't want to pick that defensive tackle. I might take a running back. Which one is better? Late first. Late first. Sixth in the 40 yard. Fifth. We're going with Walter Murdoch. He's a 70 overall hidden development. 77 break tackle, 95 speed, 89 acceleration, 91 agility. Let's get our outside linebacker, Jamal Gardner. He's a 67 overall normal development. 76 tackle, 68 hit power, 81 speed, 84 acceleration. So heading into the year, we're an 86 overall team, 88 offense, 84 defense. I mean, the offensive line's good. The receivers, everything's good about the offense. It's the defense that might hold us back. But I'm really, uh, I'm not too concerned about it. Our corners are great. Safeties, line, linebackers. We're good to the playoffs. We made the playoffs with a wild card spot at 10 and 6. We'll play against the 10 and 6 Chargers with Justin Herbert. The Browns 12 and 4. The Steelers 11 and 5. And the Ravens 10 and 6. It's a shame not every team can make the playoffs from our division. But they probably should be able to. Burrow 3,900 yards, 38 touchdowns, 3 interceptions. Awesome. Mix in 1,400 yards, 8 touchdowns. Murdoch with 2. He's the rookie. Receiving Boyd, 991, 11 touchdowns. Ross, 980 with 7. Higgins, 721, 8 touchdowns. And CJ with 4. On defense, Wilson, 135 tackles. Pratt, 102. Sack total, 6.5 for Hubbard, 6 for Lawson. Interceptions, 2 for Bell, 2 for Sherman, 2 for Bates, 2 for Alexander. 1 for Wilson, 1 for Owuze. Yearly awards, what do we got? Patrick Mahomes with the MVP. Burrow better be up here. There he is at number six. Okay, I was about to say. Coach of the year. There we are at number eight. AFC Offensive Player of the Year. Burrow at two. No mix in. Defensive Player of the Year. Wilson at two. Offensive Rookie. We have Murdoch at two. Defensive Rookie of the Year. Ashmore at three. And that's going to be it. Let's take a look at our XP. We have one for Burrow. We have six for Murdoch. Who must have superstar, I would imagine. Higgins is going to be an 87. Looking good in the offensive line. Ashmore, what do you have? Four, so it'll be a 75 overall. Yeah, we're in great shape. So we're an 87 overall team. And I imagine we're going to be one and done against the Chargers. Right? Yeah. 35 to 31. I find that so, so, so hard to believe. I know the Chargers have a talented team, but I feel like we do as well. Let's take a look. Burrow, 248, four touchdowns. Herbert, 316, five touchdowns, one interception. Mixon, 87 yards. Hunt with 70. Murdoch with 29. Receiving Allen, 8408, two touchdowns. Ma uh, Mike Williams with two. I thought that was Max Williams for a second. Allen with one. Boyd with one. John Ross with one. Higgins with seven for 106, by the way. And then two touchdowns for Walter Murdoch. All right. That is a shame that we're going to end it that way. But let's go take one final look at our team, which I think is a very, very good team. We had to build up the offensive line. We didn't really have to work on the defense all too much. But what did we do? We drafted Copeland, Barnett, Hayward. They're all 80s or above. We drafted uh, Murdoch, who has superstar, like I said. Granted, that was just this past year. On defense, I don't think we did anything on defense, really, did we? We drafted Ashmore. We drafted Horton right here. We obviously signed Wuze. We signed Sherman. So I guess we really didn't do anything on defense. We drafted Irving. We drafted Claiborne. But not much on defense. But hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button. Come on back for more. And I'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.